Hello and hi everybody. Do you ever used a candle before? I am sure you have. So today we would like to talk about life cycle assessment of candle. Okay, today for the life cycle assessment of candle, the topic outline will be consist of four major parts that are 1. The introduction of the candle, that will explain about the candle and its history. 2. The life cycle assessment of candles which will explain about the production of candles. 3. Impact of candles to environment and lastly the fourth one is the mitigation measures. A candle is an ignitable wick embedded in wax. And usually, the wax used is paraffin wax or another flammable solid substance such as tallow and it is a purpose to provide light and the main source of light before electricity and the light bulb was invented and still be used until now. A candle can also provide heat as one of the purposes. The History of Candle In the earliest use of candles is often attributed to the ancient Egyptians, who made rush lights or torches as a source of light in their daily life by soaking the pithy core of reeds in melted animal fat. However, the rush lights had no wick like a true candle. The ancient Romans are generally credited with developing the wicked candle, Romans began making true dipped candles from the tallow, beginning around 500 BC by dipping rolled papyrus repeatedly in melted tallow or beeswax. The resulting candles were used to light their homes, aid travelers at night, and in religious ceremonies. Next beeswax candles were introduced in Europe in the Middle Ages. Unlike animal-based tallow, beeswax burned pure and cleanly. It emitted a pleasant sweet smell rather than the acrid odor of tallow. After scientists discovered how to efficiently remove the naturally occurring waxy component from petroleum and purify it paraffin wax was developed. Paraffin, which was odorless and bluish white in color, was a benefit to candle making. Candle making began to fall after the invention of the light bulb in 1879. Candles have gone a long way from their first use. While they are no longer employed as a primary source of illumination, their popularity and use continue to expand. Candles are now used to represent a celebration, kindle passion, relax the senses, commemorate a ceremony, and enhance house decors giving a warm and wonderful glow for all to enjoy. Let's move on to life cycle of candle. The life cycle consists of a few parts such as 1. Material production 2. Product manufacturing 3. Product distribution 4. Product use and lastly the number 4 is the end of life. Material Production The main two components of candles are 1. The wick that works by capillary action, conveying the fuel to the flame. 2. The wax that work is the fuel substance, for the flame to light. A candle wick is usually a braided string that made out of cotton that holds the flame of a candle. A candle wick works by capillary action, conveying the fuel to the flame. And the paraffin wax or petroleum wax is a soft colorless solid derived from petroleum coal or oil shale that consists of a mixture of hydrocarbon molecules containing between 20 and 40 carbon atoms. It is obtained from petroleum by de-waxing light, lubricating oil stocks. Product manufacturing, making the wick. 1. The cotton or linen wicks are braided and then treated with chemicals or inorganic salt solutions so that they bend at a 90 degree angle when burning. This angle allows the end to remain in the outer mantle of the flame and causes it to be shortened naturally. If the wick is not treated, it will burn too quickly and the flame will be extinguished by the melted wax. First the wax is heated and melted into a clear, near liquid state in a huge metal kettles machine. Wax melted by direct flame can become dark colored or can contain small pieces of carbon char. Next, the molten wax must be carefully filtered to remove impurities that may interfere with the burning process. Molding of the candle The wax is cooled to slightly above its melting point and poured into a molding table located above the molds. The wax then works its way into each mold. The molds are preheated so the wax will flow evenly into them. After the wax is poured, a jacket around each mold is filled with cold water to speed up the solidification process. After that the candles are packed according to preferences. The certain company used a glass jar to pack the candles and some use tin can style of packaging and lastly they are packed in boxes and ready for the next process. 
product distribution. The candles distributed from the industrial production premises to the wholesaler's warehouse and to the retail shop commonly by ship and transportation through the roads. Product use. In today's world, candles are used as decorations, in ceremonies, and to release relaxing fragrances. It is also used as a light resource during emergencies and heat resources to melt another wax. End of life of the candle. The candle will leave behind material such as a glass jar that will be product left after the candle has finished. And boxes from the packaging. Besides that metal piece that hold the wick. And lastly, the tin can also from the packaging of the candle. Effect to the environment Unsustainable usage of fossil fuel Paraffin is the least environmentally friendly type of wax you can have in your candle. Paraffin wax is made from fossil fuels which are themselves unsustainable and causes the rate of decreasing of fossil fuel to be higher releases dangerous particles to the air. Paraffin candles release a plume of carcinogenic materials into the air whenever they're lit and can leave soot damage behind even with a properly trimmed wick. The emission ratio of nitrogen dioxide is approximately 30% for all candles. Only for carbon monoxide candle type C emits slightly less carbon monoxide 2.6 grams per kilogram than the other two candles, approximately 3.3 grams per kilogram, which might be explained by different flame temperatures. It is not recommended for health reasons or to environmentally conscious people as a candle choice. The Impact of Product Distribution in 2020, 25,978,000 million liters of fuel is used for on-road vehicles in Malaysia and that is not a sustainable way of using fossil fuel that will bring to depletion of non-renewable sources in the future. Collectively cars and trucks account for nearly one-fifth of all emissions, emitting around 24 pounds of carbon dioxide and other global warming gases for every gallon of gas shipments transportation emit carbon dioxide. This will bring causes such as depletion of the ozone layer. Effective End Life Product First, the glass material that comes from the glass jar of candles packaging will be end up and disposed at the landfill site where there will take forever and it is the one characteristic of glass that is really difficult to dispose in the landfill. Next, the box packaging that is not disposed properly or not be recycled will be filled on the waste collection point and also can lead to the effects of littering that will be polluting the environment and views. Mitigation measures. Use plant-based wax. There are many alternatives to substitute the paraffin wax as the candle wax that can help to reduce the usage of fossil fuel such as coconut oil wax soy wax, and olive oil wax because it can be used in a in more sustainable way. Reuse and Recycle The practice of reuse and recycle in daily life can help in terms of the impact of the end-life product by reuse the glass jar into another poos pose such food container and recycle box material as a new material such as paper. That's all for our video today. Hope it is beneficial and you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. See you later. Bye.